Combustion air, the stuff a furnace breathes. Let's look at an example where combustion air is needed. Here we have a fuel gas burning furnace on the left and a water heater on the right. And overhead, we have two six inch ducts running horizontally, providing combustion air to this region. But there's also a large interior volume where inside air is also providing combustion air. However, basements like this often get finished and those open areas get closed off to now a small mechanical room where the equipment's housed. The IRC, the International Residential Code, requires combustion air and provides calculations for determining various ways to provide it in section G2407. This is also what the combustion air calculator will do for you. When you open your calculator, you're asked to start a new project. Go to the bottom and click New Project. Now give your project a name. We'll call this one Example. The first entry screen, after putting in your name, asks for the total BTUs of the equipment in the room. In this case, we have a furnace and a water heater for a total of 140,000 BTUs per hour. If we look at the top, we'll see our running total that tells us how code compliant our installation is. Currently, we're not very compliant. We haven't entered any combustion air. Let's go down to the first title for inside air, and we need to add a room. There's always going to be some inside air. At a very minimum, it will be the room that the equipment is located in. Enter that information here. We'll call our room mechanical for the mechanical room, and we'll come down here and have to do a little bit of heavy lifting on our own. We've got to get the tape measure out and measure the length, width, and height of that mechanical room. In this case, we're looking at a 10 by 8 mechanical room. Entering this and going back to the main screen, we see that we're 10% code compliant. We're off to a start. But let's move down and let's get some uh, accountability, or let's account for our ex exterior air, our outside air ducts we saw. First, we pick the orientation the ducts are in, as that will affect the calculations. The installation I showed you had horizontal ducts. Below, we'll enter the diameter of the duct. In this case, they were 6 inch diameter. So let's go back and see where we stand now. We're at 50% compliant with the existing interior air and with the existing horizontal 6 inch outside air. Now it's time to find solutions to get to 100% compliant. Scroll to the bottom of the main page and click the button Results and Solutions. This will take you to your final summary of the existing conditions here, and below are two more buttons to either provide additional inside air or additional outside air. Let's look at additional outside air first. Here we see three choices, vertical, horizontal, or the one opening method. If we were to use the horizontal ducts as they are currently installed, we would need to put in two more six inch ducts, one high, one low. Let's look at what we can do for adding additional inside air. If we click the inside air option, we see here that we need 411 square feet. We're also provided the area of the transfer air grills to transfer the air from the adjacent room into the mechanical room. This includes the reductions for metal or wood louvers and your free area. So going back to the main page, let's add a room and try to get some more interior air. So we'll click add a room here and let's title this room the rec room. This is a 20 by 22 room adjacent to mechanical room where transfer air grills can be installed to take advantage of that interior volume again. Now going back to the main page, we've done it. We're code compliant. This installation is actually 6% over the top. Throughout the entire calculator, where you see these three buttons in the top corner, this will open a menu. So will the button on your phone. The menu varies based on what page you're on and provides other options for the user. Also, you may notice these question marks throughout the calculator. These will open a little bit of help and provide a little bit of more information about the code and how it applies for that particular title. This is the combustion air calculator. 
It's just the start of building codes going mobile and code compliance getting easier. It's offered at a low introductory price of only 99 cents. Get it now at Google Play for your Android device.